I don't know what that was. But, no, uh, I don't hello. know. But can anyone tell what gig Pete and I were at last night? Yeah. Um, right. Why? Why? What, because I played... Yeah, that was... What, that was what's that little little bit like, like, little that? A little bit, a little was bit. It? Was it? Anyway, I'm welcome tired, back man. to Tell Anderton's you. TV. Yeah, Sorry. it was a late night last night. Fun. Um, we're going to look at the Pod Express today, uh, which is cool. Um, and actually, I'm going to get this right out off the bat. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Just saying it. Yeah. It's... I don't know about the name, man. I got, I got this. I feel like I need to go and get a pot of noodles or something, like the Panda Express. It's a pot noodle. Is that what? No, you're like saying? isn't that a Panda Express or something? A pot noodle. So it's, it's a pot, pot noodle. Express. Or I'm gonna go on an adventure in a train. Right. Let's talk about it. So <laughs> right. it is a, it's a little bit like all of these amp in a box pedals. So whether it's Boss IR2 or Strymon Iridium or you know plethora of those kind of things. Amp yeah. in a box, you say? Treasure, you say? We are plugging the guitar directly into here, um, and then the, the stereo outputs are going direct into an interface. So you're just hearing uh, the amp models, the speaker emulation, the effects, everything is coming from this little box here. A little bit plastic. It's That's, not a little bit plastic. Oh, it's a lot plastic. When I, when I saw it first, the pictures, I was like, oh, that looks really good. You unbox it, and you hand it over to me, and I, it's all like a little bit sort I, of... Um, yeah, well, that's the worst thing about this. Everything here gets better. So <laughs> um, Apart from this, of course. <laughs> yeah. This is just, unless you like and subscribe. Please don't forget Please that. Like I, know, and subscribe. I know you want to you wanna get on. I want to get on. so excited I know. about this Pod Express. Like and subscribe. We're nearly at the million subscribers now and our marketing department have ramped up the prizes. So every 10,000 new subscribers, we're giving away even more than we would normally oh, so give we're away. Not, I thought it was going out to every thousand. No. <laughs> so here's the concept. Uh, we have got uh, amps around the outside of this knob in the middle. Clean, special, chime, dynamic, crunch, heavy, and lead. And you will see on screen now what those amplifiers are. Yeah. Each of those amplifier has a matching cab. Perhaps you'll see that on screen you now. You might do. And you can absolutely mix and match the cabs with amps if you want to. But we're not going to. We're just going to stick with the same cabs. You can take them off so you can use your own IR loader. But yeah. you can't load IRs in here. Exactly what he said. Uh, in addition to that, we have got um, these four knobs around the outside, three buffalo girls, four buffalo <laughs> knobs around the outside, around <laughs> the outside. Um, and wings. Basically, <laughs> if I hungry. don't hold down the alt button, each of these add an effect in, so delay, distortion, modulation, reverb. <gasps> if I hold down the alt button, I can adjust the uh, gain, bass, middle, and treble. And actually, if I hold down the alt and the tap button, I can adjust things like a noise gate and uh, some additional EQ presence, things like that. I can even store a specific master volume specific. for each patch How if I want to. How do you do that without looking really you have like to look a T-Rex? Like you look like a T-Rex, yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> anyway, come on. So this was the, that, what you just heard was the clean sound. I think it's a little Fender Princeton or something like A little like bit that, drive on it? there. I thought it was a little bit of a drive with it, with it, I did, I put a little bit of the boost in. It's absolutely, it's great. It's good. Good. So we're going to whiz through the other amp models here so you can see them. And then when we get to the very end, I'll go back to clean and I'll show you what all of the um, effects do. In preset mode, and you'll see there are purple presets, and I think there's maybe seven or eight of those. There are white presets, and there are yellow presets. And obviously the idea is you can save your own, and then and you can toggle up and down here as well. Yep, and if you put an external foot switch in, you can use that to toggle up and down and things like that. And you hold that down. It's tuner. a tuner! But uh, there is no indication of what string you are, or if it's an A sharp or a bit, yeah. you know. So you have to know You need to be kind of in tune, tune already. Uh, yeah. But, you know, what do you expect for a little plastic box for £199? I think it's a lot of stuff in here for £199, even Stereo. if it is a bit plasticky. But, OK, let's listen to the special. So the Whoa. second amplifier after that little break that um, never go is the Line 6 Litigator. Ah. Liti litigation is like litigation, when, a, you when say? you sue somebody, isn't it? Treasure, you say? Is no that what idea. Is? Yeah, that's what, yeah. So, I... Just to give you an idea, so I've dialed in this new amp, and if I want to just double check what the settings are, hold down the alt button. This will show me where the gain is. Maybe I want a bit more, a bit less gain. Yeah. This will show me where the mid range is. This will show me where the bass is. And you can see it's quite nice with this sort of illuminated bit around the outside of the middle knob. So that's our um, uh, Line 6 Litigator. And again, if I just squidge a bit of reverb back on there. 
Can I just do this as well? Because that's supposed to be the that's noise, the noise gate. gate. I'm going to turn yeah. that down a bit because I'm not. I don't know if that's gate. per patch the noise gate, but or if it's. I don't it know. I'm not sure. I tell you what, that was pretty fun. That, but it will never go out. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So go. this is. I don't know if we can make that a bit cleaner. Maybe. Let's have a little look. If I want to turn the volume up and I don't want to use the, one of the hidden kind of menu things that, that on the side it's just a ye old fashioned volume knob. That looks like something out of it, like a C, like, like, a, like an, old, yeah, an old CD yeah, Discman. I totally agree. Oh man, I used to have one of those. This is all uh, HX derived uh, processing. And I honestly, I think the AMP models are really good. Like genuinely, genuinely for a, what is essentially a pretty much entry level price for this sort of thing at sort of sub, yeah, you know, sub 200 pounds. I think it sounds really good. And like the, we're gonna go through the reverbs and stuff. They all sound really good. It's a, it's a, a Boss uh, DI2, ID2, I, IR2, isn't it? IR2. It's like, it's a little Can bit, I, but, but without all your fixing I mean, IR2, it, right? IR2 is a compact boss pedal, yeah. so all metal, everyone is yeah, going to yeah, love that. Yeah, you can that. throw it and last um, for years. It doesn't really Within have, years. I think it did have more amp and speaker models in it, but not loads more. It doesn't have any of these no, effects no, no. in there, but you could load IRs in onto the IR2. So I, I kind of feel, anyway, I know we're, pedal fairly, early anyway, in this, yeah, 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 we're yeah. fairly early in this demo, but I would absolutely encourage you to watch that IR2 video, which will be up there or in the mm -hmm. link in the description below, uh -huh. and then compare it to this. I, yeah. I really think one of the two of those units is going to be pretty spectacular. Does that for, take for batteries as well? Didn't it? it takes batteries as well. Yeah. I, re I reckon the battery time on these is three double A's. You know, like yeah. I was saying, you know, the, the, with the Arnold Schwarzenegger, it goes to Mars, yes. and he goes to that bar. Looking for Melina. Well, she's busy, but uh, Mary here, she's free. Well. Not free, honey, but uh, available. <laughs> When you I see that again, I'm going to throw that at the editor. Then uh, it'll be in the manual. How long do the batteries last? It doesn't. I bet it's a few I hours. No, I've checked it out, man. I've read well, the whole okay. manual, and there wasn't anything about. It. If we find it, we'll put it on screen. But Fine. I looked um, and looked and looked. Let's go to the next one, which is Chime, which is according. Oh, look at that. Bless. Uh, <laughs> is a matchless DC30. So it's a bit I guess, boxy. Yeah, like a souped-up Vox. Oh, that's 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 the hot coming in hot. I can hear the noise gate again, annoying you. Yeah, it was, it was just... Oh, yeah, just take it over. I'm just gonna... Look, no noise there. gate. We're listening through a couple of Genelex. Uh, what are they? 80, 80 40s. 40s in here. Yeah. And it means it makes a huge difference when you have good speakers yeah. in the room. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. It's a good sounding AC30 vibe. Um, I can gun it a bit more. This Gunner. is, I can't, this I think some of you might find a little bit, take a, a little bit of time to get used to. So obviously when I'm pressing the alt button down and adjusting these knobs here, I'm adjusting what's written in the little white writing underneath the effect name mm. here. And as I come out the alt mode, even though this is now pointing to the tape delay setting, it's not actually going to engage until I move. Till you move it, yeah, so, yeah. So it's still, so it's a little bit. You know, when you look at it, you go, "Oh, shouldn't I, shouldn't I have like some distortion and fake?" Yeah, but, but it's not on there. But it's, it's not on yet. I see. So, but here's a sort of a more gun day C third. I 
and it's good. Uh, it's kind of captured that. Yeah, it's, it's got that of, mid range yeah. thing, you know. Who, the, the, who gets to plug into a DZ30 these days? Unless you know Dan Steinhardt. Uh, Dan Steinhardt, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Right, the next one life. is called Dynamic. This has an unusual uh, description in the manual here. It's called the Ben Adrian Cartographer. Uh, but I'm reliably informed that he has a, a trainer amplifier, a 50-watt mm -hmm. trainer amplifier, and he's created like a, a patch of that that you can download for the Helix, and it's apparently one of the most popular ones. So that's kind of that that amp model is in here. You know what I also heard? That instead of making maps like of, of countries, he makes maps of people's bodies. Does he? Oh, yeah. Sounds a bit like the other one, but a little bit more. <laughs> what about with less gain then? Is that what it's all about? More volume and maybe some. What are you trying to do now? You want to... Give me the blade on there, mate. You know what? I, again, I I'm really enjoying the sound, and I'm also really enjoying the fact that uh, even though it's got USB C out on there, mm -hmm. there's no editor for this, so you don't feel like oh, oh I've got to go. The USB C is purely and simply for um, updates, updates, uh -huh. doing the connect, using it as an audio interface, and also actually for Dualipa. putting music into, into it. it. You yeah. can't you can't Bluetooth stream music in. You just have to basically do that via a USB. It cable. has to be this simple because otherwise it's option paralysis. Yep. Editors and all sorts of stuff. It, this is but express. When you, if you think about that new X thing that we looked at the other day, the Amp Academy, yeah. you know, again, if you didn't have the, if you didn't have it plugged into the editor, you couldn't do half the stuff that was on it. Exactly. So anyway, right, Crunch, we will all be familiar with this amplifier because this is a Friedman BE100. $4,000 worth of guitar amplifier here, yes. all in a little puddle for oh, yeah, turn that reverb yeah. down, I think. Yeah. Uh, for Even more. Just <laughs> sounds great. They all have a similar vibe about them, you know, they all got a similar sound. I don't, can't explain what it is. Does it make sense? No. <laughs> It's a hot body Marshall, isn't it? Big, yeah, 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 yeah. fat, dirty sound. Big, fat, dirty sound. Uh, next is the Line 6 Oblivion. Please tell me that someone has put the insane spider mode in this. <laughs> uh, actually, please tell me someone hasn't done that. But let's find out. It's the Spider uh, 17. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> We broke him. He broke. He played metal for too long, tried to revert to dad blues and broke. Yeah, that's his place. Like... <laughs> so you can see on that patch, I've taken the reverb off, dialed the noise gate up uh, to a slightly higher setting. And I don't know, that's... It's, it's all right, man. <laughs> I'm 
coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe Never. that would have uh, suited a humbucker or something a bit better. But yeah. Here we go. But you're not um, getting that on this like, video. No, uh, that's it. He's contractually only playing his DPT from now on. Um, <laughs> it was the one that was closest. Here's the uh, 5150 is the last... I'm not going to go any further. That terrible high top and fizzle that it's, I don't it, like. In well, fifty one fifty is fizzy. Yeah, and I, we've That's it's the like vibe, it's, isn't it, it yeah. is kind of a fizzy amp, and you can you can't really get that out away from it. But let's have a look. again. I think it's you got it. It's the style. Oh, the the, the the playing style will suit absolutely. You know, yeah. it's, a, it's if, yeah, you, yeah. if you're into that kind of metally thing, yeah. you're, you're, I'm sure you'll get a sound that you'll like out of that. But you get a sound. Of, in, in, it doesn't matter what you're into with this. So, you can be into drawing yeah, I, with uh, crayons. You still get a good sound. I still think that, you know, I was with a customer earlier on today that, again, just wanted... When you say he was, customer. He was a customer. Uh, and he had his boogie amplifier, and that's what he wants to take oh. to all his gigs. But he was just like, on the odd occasion where I can't be bothered to lug the amp up a flight mm -hmm. of stairs or the amp blows what the or whatever amp? like that, he had a... Um, the 50 watt express. The oh, right, right, yeah, five, good, great, 50, up, yeah. 550 yeah, or whatever it's called. Yeah. And it was like, I just want something like this to just stick in my bag, and then it, I know if I, you know, I can get Batteries. away with it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, Nine volt power supply as well, straight in, so you can power it off a normal power supply. It doesn't come with the power supply, it ladies and not, gents, so you need to buy not. that as an optional uh -huh. extra. Uh -huh. Right, now I'm going to go back to, oh, so just before we move on to showing you um, how the effects work, yep. again, just a reminder that anything that we've done, you've you know dialed in an amp sound, set the noise gate, whatever you've done, you can store that as a preset. And if we were in preset mode, just as a reminder, again, you could just literally stomp up and down through and these presets that, right. uh, to save. Hold that down, yeah, yeah. yeah. So easy, yeah, really, really easy to, so to, easy. to use. So I'm gonna use the clean setting now to just show you the effects. There's even a bloody looper in this, which is nuts, right? Um, so well, let's just get a clean sound that we like. Okay, happy that that's... Turn all the effects off. Mm -hmm. That's our clean sound yeah. that we're gonna use to demo effects. So. We'll start with reverb, because I know we'll probably leave the reverb on for the bulk of this demo. So, a bit of spring reverb. <laughs> if you haven't worked out already, you can see obviously again that it's illuminating. So I'll get up to like maximum spring and then it'll jump to the next setting and it'll do the same again. So the next one is hall. I think the honestly, the, the nail they the, always nailed that. The but, effects in this belie the price and the slightly plasticky exterior. Yeah. It, it's clearly like HX level tech underneath, they but do in great a really effects. affordable, they do great plasticky. Effects. They do good. Nobody does no, effects like line six. Line six. <laughs> but the thing um, is, they nailed the decay and the tone of the yeah. spring. So. That's and, and also the other ones. That's yeah. impressive because people so, always go, I want a longer decay, I want a shorter this, and I want a bit more wobble. Anyway, but a so plate on. reverb's always my favourite. It is your favourite because especially when it's empty. Zoolander sort of, yeah, uh, yeah. Attack. and then only finally, right, left. Uh, space is uh, the biggest ambient one. This is just for me. This one, isn't it? I know it's on all the time. That's when that one comes in. Right, 
put that back to a bit of medium haul just for the rest of this it's demo. Like drink your tea. <laughs> With my little finger. <laughs> uh, let's do dis let's do this distortion wheel yet. So again, we've got boost, overdrive, distort, and fuzz. So let's have a little listen to the boost mode. A little bit more boost there. Okay. Overdrive now. Okay, so that level goes down. Boost will be a, a boost. A boost. I don't know, I just changed key there you know because what? again I felt like <laughs> comparing this to the IR2, it yeah. feels like IR2 suits a board that you've already got some yeah. pedals on. Yeah, yeah. This Absolutely. is just totally self-contained. Yeah. This is like what really, what else would you need with this? And that's where this comes in because there isn't a, uh, an expression output here that's a TRS one. So you could actually have a split Y split a cable out and have two expression pedals of one vol volume and one switch as well. So you've got a yeah. two switches extra or no, that's I think it's what very it says cool. in a manual anyway. anyway. Distortion. Okay. A little bit a little bit fatter. Man, that goes like <gasps> it's very compressed, <laughs> isn't it? That's not what, uh, you know what? Okay. I don't know what. I should have, so, so the boost is based on a clon. Clon. The overdrive is based on an 808 Tube Screamer. Ooh. The distortion is based on a Boss DS1, but the Keeley modded one. And uh, the fuzz is based on a Electronics well, let's uh, go Big some, Let's go fuss. Yes. I, want, I want a bit of muff in my life. impressive. <laughs> That is really good. That's a fat muff, that. Okay, so now we're into the modulation. Muff, and you say? Treasure, you say? This is the, uh, you'll actually now notice that the tap tempo works for both the modulation and the uh, and the delay sorry. settings. So let's just really a bit sorry. of chorus. It's, it's been a long day already. Oh, you want to? That's actually how it is. Beautiful. John um, Conan, if you're watching, look, <laughs> this is how you do it. So you go like, it's like, a, a, it's like an E here, but you open up that and you put your finger so you get like a, a nine up here. You need, you need that on, on the B down John here as well. John could play that. So. He's got no, he played that wrong. Yeah, but he played yeah, but that wrong in that video. He, did. It's not because he can't. It's just because he didn't know. Or didn't yeah, but want if to. you play Prince, you have to know, otherwise you're 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 disqualified. Disqualified, right? You cannot play that song. Play something with flanger, <laughs> please. Can we take a little reverb off? Here we go. The whole Prince repertoire is coming out now. Phaser. Tom Jones there, <laughs> no. isn't he? Stop um, saying all that stuff. Right, the tremolo. The I will. It. I'll demonstrate the how the the uh, tap tempo works now as well. I'm saying stereo trem. In fact, some of the effects that there's some stereo delays in here as well. So it's worth listening to some stereo, stereo. tremolo. But if I if I do the thing fast, we get fast modulation. If I do it slow, we get slow modulation. Oh, it, even, it even does the ramp down. Does it? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't think it does. Mm -hmm. 
So that's, one modu <laughs> that's modulation. That's Finally, nice. delay. Uh, so again, I could use the tap tempo for the same uh, purpose. Analog delay. He's going slow. Oof, it's the official Andy Summers chord. What is it the official P. Diddy chord though? You know, he still pays him money every single day. He pays him like tons of money because he never asked to use that, that uh, sample. Amazing. But Amazing! And who gets that money? Sting or, Sting or Andy Summers? Whoever probably. made this, the, wrote the song, it was Sting. Oh, probably Andy Summers. Must get, he get broke the riff, didn't he? I don't know. Uh, Maybe right. he didn't. So that's analog. Digital delay is Digital. basically the same thing. The repeats are a little bit more crispy. One, two, three. Uh, tape delay, so it was my favourite tape. one. Tape, so you're going to hear as the repeats go on, they'll get sort of a bit more crunchy and sp Yeah. <sighs> Is there any parameters you can chase within the delay, so not level or anything like that? Don't think so. You know what, they nailed that because... Because the level of coming out is good, the amount of repeat is good. Yeah. Well, Slight obviously, the, 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 um, ama the volume of the delay will get more as I go up through the... Yes. You know, so obviously what I mean by that is there's this... That's its quietest yeah. mode, and then obviously I can go all the way around to its loudest mode. But you don't get the you don't get an option of doing, I want less repeats on it or no, less feedback. No, you can't do your divisions or anything like that, you know. Divisions. Here's a good one in stereo, so ping the pong. Ping the pong! I've got a big space. Oh, it's Christmas. You know that song. <laughs> I always play that with much more reverb and so, delay, just all over the place. That's pretty much the end, <laughs> except like of course if you're not convinced this is worth £199 by now, maybe you never will be, uh, but I'm going to turn if the looper on. Um, so go all the way up to the maximum setting on delay, you'll notice the red um, illumination sort of darkens a bit, and this now becomes like a one button looper. But again, double call, not only can we loop, we can add effects and overdub as well, which is nuts, so count me in Mr. Pete. One, two, three, four. because you've turned the looper off now, Oh, you? That, you can't do that. Don't, obviously oh, not. That's the looper function, is the delay. That's a shame. All I wanted was a bit of delay no, on there. Well, no, have it, has it saved it? No, you've broken it. Oh. I don't know, actually. I guess not. No, you, there you go. So you. Okay, but hey, that was good to know. At least we learned yeah. something out of this video. Absolutely. What's, oh, Other than we are completely useless at doing videos. What's going on? I want to stop it now. Yeah, I don't, now, I'm, now I don't know. There you go. go. So it's the other button. Stop it. Well, so no. it doesn't save the loop. I mean, so... But it's like a ditto, it? isn't it? So it doesn't save the loop. I mean, crikey, it's £199. That I've, yeah, you're right. I, honestly you're right. and truthfully, I look at this, and if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't want to own it because of how it looks. So I'm put, you know, it's like it's plastic <laughs> and looks a bit childish. 
But actually, it's a when toy. I, it looks like a toy. When it? I hear it and I play it, I go, it sounds amazing. It sounds yeah. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And now I do want to own it because I just think for something, you know, to have either as a backup or headphone practice tool or just like, I think it just it's just a great little I unit. I tell you what, for another hundred pounds, instead of having one of the things you plug into the end of the guitar, you have this and you get an output here, you get looper, you get all of these effects easily to do on the top there. I'll probably pay a hundred quid for that, an um, extra. You, oh, know, you mean if you they know, just did like a, like a, no, a deluxe like the, version the bus of this, Katana Gold, for instance. In here, it's great, you put your headphones in it, but this, I'd rather have this, it's the old disc batteries. You've got a looper in it. People are saying, so, there's, so you know what I mean? You'd rather have this I than think the little plug-in? I think I'd rather yeah. pay a hundred quid for that and put, plug my headphones into here. I, I honestly, or just I'd glit, turn on the guitar, <laughs> man. With a little careful, yeah. you can do Let's that. Let's be honest you? with you. It's just, yeah, it's strapped onto your. Strap. Yeah. I mean, if you're not familiar with what Pete's talking about, there, there's so much choice now. I think for guitar players that want amazing stuff on a budget, that you know, Pete's talking about a thing called Katana Go, yeah. which is almost like a version of this, but that plugs directly into your guitar, and then you just have it yeah. on headphones. This definitely feels like it's much more tactile isn't it you can you just you, you know you're not uh, the the katana go you needed to use the app didn't you to, yeah. to whereas this and there's I, no I, looper I'm, in it and so all of that yeah. stuff you know you i think i think it's a good alternative man i really you know I, for I, another hundred quid go and mow some lawns and take a new, newspaper round or something ask your parents i know i've been a bit negative about helix maybe over the and and so i, I do still feel that big helix is just 10 years old now they, and needs, they need to, they need a complete yeah. overhaul of all of it you know but but at one ninety nine for this, I'm mm. I'm just like, what is there? To, honestly, what is there to not like? And the and the quality of the amp models and the effects completely belies the look and the price. It's oh, I'm almost looking nice. at it going. What if they had just made it black instead of red, but they would have it have made it black because bit... the bass version for you bass players out there that is black. But why didn't they give the bass players the red one and then the guitar players could have had the cool looking one? Because because guitar players need to know stop, ready, stop, <laughs> stop now, stop. They should be green for the bass players. There you go, limited edition one coming. Anderson's exclusive own. We do a purple one with line six like that. Hey man, I could do that for you easily. It would look cool, wouldn't it? the back. No, so congrats. Links are below. These are in stock, I believe. Or they're certainly, yeah, pretty sure these are in stock. That sounded great, though. Dive below, one ninety nine. free shipping in the UK. What is not to like? That's my tuner. Headphones. You know what they could have done? Put a little display up here that would show... What string are you actually tuning? Are we going to end on a negative? That's so depressing. But no, I really like it. Yeah. So there you go. In terms of connecting it, you can do like we're doing here, which is guitar goes in and then you've just got your left and right output into a pair of yeah. studio speakers or, or something like that, or mono. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you can run your headphones in the side here and don't have anything connected to it, just have headphones. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to run it into a normal guitar amplifier, it's actually easy. You, there is a mode where you can switch off the uh, speaker emulation, so you can just use the guitar amp emulation if you want. Or you can completely switch off the amp emulation completely i've said that completely twice and just use it and as completely. four effects into the front of your normal guitar amplifier you it's know what you cool. also can do because i'm looking over here we've got one of these little orange amps you know a little a little you know a little bluetooth speaker yeah. or something and lots of them have got like an, an aux in. input mini jack out wow. from here into the aux in you know what? any bluetooth speaker that's how we're going to jam out mr pete because i've never really thought about that as a as a and that's battery it's so this, you got battery battery is this charged yeah Five minutes later. Okay, I'm not sure if we've cocked the ending up of this video. I think we started saying goodbye and then started telling you about how we plug them in. But now we're officially saying goodbye. Yes. Uh, and yeah, what a brilliant idea, Mr. Pete. I if know. you've got one of these little Marshall or orange Bluetooth, any Bluetooth Laney speaker does with one, a, they all, yeah. You, yeah. Need, you do need the manual way of plugging yeah. in. But either a mini jack to mini jack on the side or yeah. two jacks into there, then you get the stereo effect so that done yourself. now you're literally just hearing this, which could be in your bedroom or whatever and then you'll just pick it up on my lapel. This sounds amazing. You got like a Yamaha THR for a lot less. For a lot less if you got this already. Amazing. Anyway, there we and go. Up, that's Thank it. you very much. Demo for watching. over. Uh, enjoy. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.